So Peter Parker was stabbed by an infected Gwen Stacy with a blade that erased him from ever becoming Spider-Man. In this story, a mind-controlled cyborg Spider-Man and Spider-Rex are after this world's Norman Osborn, who's working with Spider's Man, and no, I didn't misspeak, to transport a fragment of the web of life and destiny. Cyborg Spider-Man burns Spider's Man, but Norman is able to transport the fragment to another reality and sacrifices himself. Madam Web sees this war as being lost, with Peter no longer existing. Felicia and Anya are able to trap an army of spiders in the temple, while Miles and Craven sneak up on the spider wasp who's causing all this, Shathra. Miles hears that Peter is dead and attacks Shathra without thinking, and she holds him down, asking how he's not under her control. He ends up in a dungeon with other spiders that can't be turned. In 616, Spintress sings that Peter has been killed, and Silk knocks her out. When Madam Web arrives with Peter's replacement, the first draft of Spider-Man, Peter Palmer. At Oscorp, we see a canister containing a web appear, as scientist Peter Parker examines it.